got a two mile two furlong class four maiden here for five year old and up and it's a jump over the fences here for high town d thompson lock and key pontypool racing omega millionaire for john black ascoli martin lead him fiorentes diamond for paul rhodes force 10 for c beckwith scarlet perky for james shea and solly made fiction the final of the eight runners there and away they go here at hereford two miles two furlongs they've got to travel on this quick ground over the fences here and it's scarlet perky the early leader as they come to that first flight and all get over it safely and all put in pretty good jumps there impressive first uh, round of jumping there from all eight runners so it's scarlet perky in the lead from lock and key as they come to that next open ditch great jump from force 10 and that allowed that one to move up and join those leaders the back marker high town has already slipped quite a few lengths off the pace but I think he's jumped those first two flights okay. He's just being uh, held up and surely going to make his challenge towards the end of the race. So it's Scarlet Perky in the lead in the all green silks from Lock and Key on the outside. Force 10 in the black with the white sleeves just back in third as they come to that next flight and all of it get over safely. A really great round of jumping so far, but they've still got a good 11 fences left to jump. So it's Scarlet Perky in the lead. Modest pace being set here with Lock and Key in second. Force 10 and Fiorentis Diamond as they come over the next flight there and all of them jump safely again. The back marker is still high town. And towards the rear of the field we also have Solly Made Fiction, Omega Millionaire and Black Ascoli. But the first four, Scarlet Perky, Lock and Key in second place. A couple of lengths back there to Force 10 as they all jump that next flight. Really nice jump there from Omega Millionaire, really slick. That's the horse in the light blue silks and the yellow cap now in fifth place as they come past the stands they've got just under 11 furlongs left to go and they've just jumped just shy of half the flight of fences and it's been a really solid round of jumping so far from these chasers as they turn right-handed there scarlet perky and lock and key jump that in the air together uh, a couple of lengths in the lead from fiorentis diamond and mega millionaire black ascoli and then we've got force 10 towards the rear of the field solly made fiction and high town remains the back marker here at Hereford. So Scarlet Perky and Lock and Key matching each other for stride for stride. Took off in the air together, but you can see that Scarlet Perky jumped it slightly better. Lock and Key got a lot of air time, but not quite as quick to catch his stride upon landing as well as they come over the next flight. But how the tides have turned there is Lock and Key puts in a much quicker jump than Scarlet Perky, and that allows that one to go in the lead. But the jockey just nudges Scarlet Perky along just to regain that lead. The slightly lighter horse on the rail. But followed all the time by Lock and Key, Fiorentis Diamond just behind those. We've got Black Ascoli in the purple, which are really great jump. And that's taken a good few lengths out of the horses in second and third. With Scarlet Perky still bowling along in front, has the lead as they come over that next flight quite quickly there. And again, all eight horses are standing and there hasn't been any real serious mistakes so far. So it's Scarlet Perky in the lead from Lock and Key. Five furlongs left to travel as they jump that flight. Another good round of jump in there from all the runners. So Scarlet Perky in the lead, opening up a couple of lengths to Lock and Key. Fiorentis Diamond has dropped back a little bit. Uh, Black Ascoli and Omega Millionaire started to move past, but you can see Fiorentis Diamond just niggled along there to go back in between them and regain third spot. But it's still Scarlet Perky in the lead. The lead isn't decreasing, it's widening, if anything. So Fiorentis Diamond's going to try and change that. It's coming the next flight. Super jump from Scarlet Perky allows it to just kick on with two and a half furlongs left to go. And it's now Omega Millionaire that's the main challenger. As Lock and Key starts to fade down the rail, it's been passed by Fiorentis Diamond. Black Ascoli trying to pass. Oh, an awful mistake there from Scarlet Perky he was traveling so well and really putting the pressure on but look at the mistake it's cost it that few lengths advantage and now it's only a length back to Omega Millionaire but Scarlet Perky regains composure but it just looks like it might have taken the wind out of his sails as we go on the last flight of and uh, last final furlong because Omega Millionaire's taken it up and a good solid jump there Lock and Key puts a great jump and that's going to try and pick it off and catch back up but it's too late too little too late from Lock and Key there and put in a great jump but Omega Millionaire the last two jumps there just really put this race to bed for it. Some solid jumping in. Those last two slick jumps just allowed it to pick off the long-time leader Scarlet Perky and just move on and record quite a comfortable victory there at 8-1 here. Lock and key. Seemed to be a bit outpaced for Pontypool Racing before staying on really well. Black Ascoli in the old purple sil silks there for Martin Leadham ran on into third place. And the long-time leader for James Shea what could have been if it hadn't made that mistake there? Fifth is Fiorentis Diamond for Paul Rhodes.